Hello, I'm Constantine Dranius. I'm at the University of Idaho uh, in the NEPP team there. So today we're going to look at a couple of da data analysis um, tools and techniques. So first, um, you probably have seen this page at the workshop, but you probably haven't used it in a while. So this is a GitHub page. Um, it has all of the codes needed to run our planetary boundary layer and lapse rate um, calculations. However, I've added a new file. So, But if you need this still, um, and you don't have it, I'll have the link below, but you just go to code, download zip, and it'll download the zip, and then you unzip it and put it in your on your computer. So, but I added a new file here recently. And so it's this file right here uh, called data frame creation of profile. What this uh, file does is it just takes our profile data, as you know, it's in a, in a text file format, and it'll just print out either a CSV of it or a, um, or an Excel file of it. So you can do data analysis with that if you'd like. So let's uh, look at how that works first. So um, this is the file. I have it open, data frame creation of profile. And um, this right here is the location of the folder I want to save it in, right? So if I want to, I have this file because that's what I'm working on right now. And so I put the, the folder where I want to save my file it goes right here. The name of my file, if I want it to be a CSV, goes right here. So the name of my file is CSV. And if I want to print out a CSV, I have to have this uncommented. So it has to look like that. And I'll print out a CSV. Now, if I want an Excel file, it has to be named like this. So it's named data2. The XLSX is necessary. And then you and then you have this data to file here. If I only want an Excel file, all I have to do is go like that is go um, like that, and then it won't make a CSV for me. Or if I go like this, it won't make an Excel, but it'll make a CSV. And you can make both, right? So let's make an Excel file. So I'd comment this and have that uncommented. All I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this Run button. It's going to pop up uh, where I want uh, what files I want. I don't actually want these files because you have to do one, one file has to be in a folder by itself for this to work um, because of the naming convention. So I'll name them all the same otherwise. So I'm, I'm gonna go where I have one and this alt versus VPT, which is where I've been working, I've selected this folder and it's running the file. And now it prints it here because I've asked it to print it here. If I don't want it to print in my console, I'll just go like that, it won't print in my console anymore. But now I have uh, this file in my alt first VPT, where it's just where I asked, wanted to save it. I open it up, I've got this data to file. I open it up and it's just an Excel file for um, our flight profile. So we have this nice Excel file that we can do all kinds of different data analysis with using Excel, which is nice. So now that we have that um, finished, now let's look at um, our PBL uh, file, right? Our planetary boundary layer, which you probably saw this in um, at your workshop, but that was last summer. So let's go over it again. So we open it up and it looks like this. It's got all this writing. And right here in this site, you're gonna wanna change it to whatever your site was. Ours was Lakeview, Oregon. So all our files will have, since I put Lakeview here, it'll say Lakeview, Oregon. On our, on our results from running this. If um, you haven't changed it, it'll probably say via Rica. Um, but, you know, so if you want to change that, that's right here on line 43. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit run, just like we did before. This pops up and we want to pick where our, what files we want. I'm going to run all of our files from Lakeview, Oregon, which is our flight, my flight profile folder here. I click on it and I hit um, select folder. Now it's going to ask me if I want to save my output file. Um, I do. So I'm going to hit, that's right here. So I'm going to hit buy. And it's asked me if I want to save it to the same directory. That directory is where the flight profiles are. Um, I don't want to save mine there. So I'm going to hit no. And it's going to prompt me, where do I want to save it, right? And for me, I'm going to save it in my I made this results folder. I'll save it here. I'll hit select folder. 
And now it's going to take a few minutes because it's going to run all these profiles, right? So as you can see in this console here, it printed out all my results. Um, I don't necessarily want to use that because it's kind of hard to read in there. So now I open where I told my uh, program to save it, which is right here in my results folder. I open it up and I have all these files, right? And uh, let's look at this uh, PBL methods like view file. So I open this up and it tells me everywhere, it, for all my flights, it tells me my planetary boundary layer height through three different message, the bulk Richardson number, the virtual potential temperature gradient, and the potential temperature gradient. And it also tells me which um, method was chosen um, from the algorithm that was developed. And as you can see, they're not all the same. So for this flight, num our fourth flight, we have three different values, you know, eight meters, 849 meters, and uh, 1,111 or 1,011 meters, so which are all very different heights. And uh, our method chosen was the potential temperature. And, and that's due to, um, that is due to these kinds of, uh, this right here. So there was a nocturnal boundary layer present. And so that helped, and this, it was unstable and unsaturated. Those are atmospheric conditions. So this is part of how we it chooses which, uh, which height to use. Um, but the file we're concerned with is this PBL methods lake view. And I know it's kind of hard to read. You open it up, it's hard to read. That's fine. What you want to do is you want to right click, copy, and then you're going to come over to this PBL response plot file I've opened. It's in the what's the program with all the other files. Right here, I'm going to put in, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to paste the file right there. As you can see, just paste it. And then all I'm going to do, or next, you got to make sure these are correct, because in the one you probably downloaded, these dates are for um, the 2020 eclipse. So our first day was uh, October 13th, second day was October 14th, which is right here. So you get year, month, day. And then as you can see, it's year, month, day, hour, minute. And uh, so you need to adjust those for the time of the eclipse. So right here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit run. And it's going to give me a nice plot of my, um, my, my, uh, all my planetary boundary layers heights. And um, if you want, you can also adjust this, uh, the resolution of this graphic. If you go up here into your, um, your tools, preferences. And then you click on um, your uh, I, your IPython console graphics, and you can uh, affect your resolution right here. You can change it up to, if I recall, it's uh, you can change it to nine hundred and ninety nine is the highest you can go, and you can also change your format of the file um, right there, or you can do that later on, and so. Now that we've done that, we've got our planetary boundary layer response. We've plotted the, the height. Now let's look at the lapse rate. So we open up this lapse rate, 900 uh, millibar file. And uh, I have it actually set to cut off my lapse rate at 700, which you can see right here. This value right here, you can change where to cut off. That's as, as high as it goes. And I have it for 700 here. Um, and you're welcome to change that if you want. And it's it's not hard coded in, so you'd have to change, like you can change your file name here. And here, um, so what we're gonna do is just like the other um, the other file, we're gonna click run. It's gonna pop up and we're gonna look at our Lakeview, Oregon, our flight profiles. I'm gonna select yes. It's gonna ask me if I wanna save the data. I'm gonna click yes. It's asking me if I wanna save to the same directory. I'm also gonna hit no here. If I hit yes, it just saves to where the pro flight profiles are, but I'm gonna hit no because I wanna save it to where I've been saving my results. So I'm gonna select that folder and then it's gonna start running and it's gonna take a minute just like the other one because that's run through every profile. So as you can see, the file is finished running. It's printed out all the lapse rates here in the console, but you know that's not the best one to use. So. I'm gonna open up here and I'm in my results folder where I was before, just uh, results. And right here, lapse rate lake view, it 
printed out a nice file with all my lapse rates for my flights. As you can see, they're all right here. So as you can see, we've gone through how to create a data frame or how to create an Excel or CSV, running our PBL um, height code our, and plotting that, and then also how to get the lapse rate for each flight. Um, thank you guys very much and, uh, and have a great day.